mighty name of Jesus. Fire, Holy Ghost. Who are you? What have you done in her life? Holy Ghost, fire all over you. Who are you? What have you done in her life? What have you done in her life? Answer right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm a generational curse. You're a generational curse. What have you done to her family? What have you done to her family? Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus. What have you, what have you done in her life? What have you done in her body? What have you done in her body? What have you done in her health? They dedicated her to me. They dedicated her to you? Yes. Yes. When? Yes. When? Her parents dedicated her to me. Her parents dedicated her. Yes. When she was young? Yes. Oh. What have you done in her life her since then? Would never give birth. Her mother would never conceal. And they went somewhere to get children. No. Her, mama, no. her mother couldn't conceive, so she no. went to a witch doctor. No. 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 Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No. No. How many no. of you there? No. How many of you there? No. no. How many of you there? What is your name? You evil spirit. You are in the arena of liberty. And right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we command you, loose your grip. Loose your grip. Loose your grip in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose your grip now in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose your grip in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of the church. Let's stretch our hands. Let's begin to pray. Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire all over your body in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are in a real... In the arena of liberty, you have no place but to leave now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Because of Christ. Because of Christ, she's free now. Because of Christ, she's free now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because of Christ, loose her now. Fire. Fire all over your body. Fire all over your body. Fire all over your body right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire all over your body right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire all over your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All over her body right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose her now. Loose her right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose her right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pick her up. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name, because of Christ, we declare you free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Whoa. We welcome you here today to the Anointing Water Prayer Line in the United States. Can you please tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Jamira Logan. I'm from Natick, Massachusetts. And can you tell us what is the problem that brought you here to receive prayer with the Anointing Water? I've had so many problems in my life. Um, I mean, these demons have been tormenting me and my entire family. I have been going through so much confused, disappointment. I didn't have any sense of direction, and especially I've been suffering fibroids. I have had two surgeries, and uh, recently when I went to see my doctor, she recommended me to go for another surgery, and I said, no, Jesus will do it this time. 
And what kind of things have happened in your daily life that would make you uh, come here for deliverance? Uh, about seven months ago, I was introduced to Emmanuel TV, and since I've been watching it, but before then, I was so depressed. I mean, on the outside, I would look okay, but inside I was dying. In fact, I had even thought of killing myself. But then that water came at a time when I needed deliverance and it has helped me. Although these demons have been tormenting me, getting attacks, like I get up with, uh, I mean, cuts on my body, and unexplained cuts on my body. So. I realized it was time to face the, to, I mean, to, f to seek the face of God. And what can you say about your family life uh, that would have brought you here today that um, seems out of the ordinary? It's so miserable. My entire family is down. My sisters, they are married and divorced. They are married and divorced. We have nothing to write about, nothing, nothing. In fact, I was born and raised up a Muslim. Um, I was the first one to give my life to Christ. My other sisters, we are only two in the family that are followers of Christ. My other sisters, no. So their life is really, really bad as I speak now. But I thank God that today he visited my family. He set it free in Jesus' name. Do you remember anything that was happening to you as you were receiving prayer with the anointing water? What I remember when uh, the evangelist was calling fire on me, that fire provoked the, uh, the spirit in me that wa was so mad and angry, like holding on to me, I shouldn't go. Uh, I wanted to run. In fact, I wanted to run, but there's no way I could run because <laughs> there were people around me, but that was my feeling, that Holy Ghost fire that was being called on me provoked the demons inside of me and they were, I mean, I'm glad they are out of me and I know they are gone forever and ever. They will never come back to my life in Jesus' name. So as you're receiving that prayer, the voice that was speaking now, was this you? No way, not me. I, in fact, I'm surprised. I would never think I would manifest that way. No, that was not me. It was the demon. And the evil spirit had mentioned that it had uh, entered your life at birth. What can you say about this? That's very true. My mom, my mom would, n would never conceive. S and uh, the pressure was so much on her that they, are, they, are, they, are, um, they persuaded her to go to some place where she could get help. And I, to my understanding, there's a tree we used to go to. My, they used to take us there as young kids, I mean, to to do all kinds of rituals. So I know that because my mom told me, told us that she would never conceive and depression was too much. And according to what I see in my family and my sisters, yes, there's something really wrong, something. I, I can tell like my first, uh, my firstborn, my, my elder sister, she must be possessed. She must be, her life is, is just awful. But I believe Jesus, has set us free. Amen. And now that you have received that prayer with the anointing water, do you believe that you have been completely set free from this evil spirit that was tormenting your life that had caused a generational curse in your family? I'm free, I'm delivered, and I'm healed in Jesus' name. And my life will never be the same forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we believe with you that Jesus Christ has completely delivered you and set you free from this problem of a generational curse, and we encourage you today to make God's word the standard for your life so this wonderful healing, deliverance, and breakthrough will remain permanent in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you for my deliverance. Thank you for my healing in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you, Lord.